Hi, I thought I would do a very short tutorial today. Um, and what I'm going to show you how to do is basically uh, get rid of the areas of your video where there is no audio. So if you're going to like make a video and you want to start off by leaving a blank area with no audio so you can get yourself ready to say what you want to say in your video I'll show you how to use Sony Vegas and get rid of it because a lot of you who have just started using Sony Vegas will notice there's a huge difference compared to a lot of the free encoders uh, of our ed video editing software so it's not very difficult you'll want to click your mouse here left click it and just to make sure that you don't cut off any audio that you want to keep you take your left arrow button and move it till you can see the audio on the two uh, channels here and then what you do is you move this back like that by holding shift and the left arrow key you go to edit and you click delete now that just remove that space where there was um, dead air and you were or maybe you were preparing yourself to start the video now you can also do that on the end too except uh, use the right arrow because obviously you're going in the, to the right side of your screen and you can also do that for areas in between uh, your video where there's a huge gap um, Usually it's better to do it when it's full screen so I can see the gaps better and uh, you don't have to stretch out the video. If you want to add music, um, you can go here, click open, and then pick that song, because it doesn't really matter what song, and drag it to the music track. Now for music, when you add that, uh, you so it doesn't drown your voice out or your audio uh, you w might want to drag the volume down to minus 30 decibels or around there you can also just play around with it a bit and see what works best for you now as for the sound effects track you want to left click it and delete it I don't know if it's necessary to do but that's just something that I do when I make a video in Sony Vegas and also this video overlay track unless you're using it. I occasionally use it. You can add like still pictures or images in that track uh, and they will display on screen. Of course you have to pan and crop them accordingly so they don't uh, hide anything you want to be shown in the video. And the video is pretty much ready to go. Um, and this way you've eliminated some of the gaps in your videos and also um, you have added music. Now if you have any other questions about Sony Vegas please feel free to ask me in a video comment below. I'm not sure how good I would be with the fancier like um, video effects and stuff like that uh, but there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube already so I'm not really sure why I'm doing this one. Thanks for watching. Bye.